Hi everybody, my name is Stacy, and I'm the creator and mastermind behind Ramblings of an Undiagnosed Mad Woman. This is a blog that I've created about a month, month and a half ago. Um, I've been wanting to do a blog for about three years now, ever since I started writing online. So I finally jumped on the bandwagon and got with it and created a blog. It was purely by accident, but that's not the topic I want to discuss today. Today I want to talk about vlogs. Um, one of the things that came up yesterday as I was wasting time on the internet was vlogs and why you should do them, why you shouldn't do them, who could do them. And first off, I rang in there and I said, there's no way you'd ever catch me do a vlog. Yeah, looks like I was wrong. Because naturally, then all of a sudden, this thought popped in my head and I thought, well, maybe I could do a vlog. So here I am in front of my video camera giving you reasons why I shouldn't vlog, ironically, on a vlog. So the number one reason I don't want to, I don't think I should vlog is because what am I going to wear? I stressed out about this all morning. I did my hair, I woke up, I put my makeup on, I got dressed. As a writer, when you're writing behind the, the screen of your computer, you don't have to worry about what you're wearing. Nobody sees you. If, if you see what I look like, it's because I chose to let you see what I look like. I can take the picture. If it's a good picture, I can show you. If it's a bad picture of me going like this, chances are I'm not going to let you see it. A vlog is a whole different atmosphere, whole different world. You're going to see what I look like. And frankly, that's kind of scary because I want to make a good first impression. So here I am. I dressed up for the occasion. Ta-da! All right. The number two reason why I shouldn't vlog is because of my voice. I know you're probably thinking that is the craziest thing you've ever heard. Your voice sounds fine. Well, to me, it doesn't. I hear my voice all the time. Every time I speak, sometimes I speak to myself. It doesn't sound the same. So when I play back a video, I'm going, who is that talking to me? Well, apparently that is me. That's my voice. I guess it takes some getting used to, but either way, you know, my voice sounds funny when I play it on a recorder. And so one of the biggest challenges is accepting that that's actually how I sound. Well, I guess you got to get used to it sometime. The third reason that I shouldn't do a vlog is because I have no clue what I'm going to talk about. What am I going to sit in front of a video chatting about for minute after minute? I mean, because it's not like you can just click the video and say, hi, this is my vlog. Okay, I guess I'm done. No, you actually have to have a genuine topic. So then I look and I think, well, what kind of topics can I talk about? Well, most of you know that I am a stay-at-home mom. Um, I decided to become a stay-at-home mom a while back. Uh, it got me a chance to spend more time with my kids. I also was a barber. But for the most part, my life centers around being at home. So what am I going to talk about? The best way to wash your dishes? How to get your kids to pick up the rooms? You know, it seems like exciting stuff, doesn't it? I mean, I will admit, kids are a great inspiration when it comes to writing. After all, yesterday... We were at story time, me and, my, me and my son, he's the only one home with me during the day. And I took him to story time, and in the middle of story time, he yells out, holy crap! Now, the good news is, is I didn't get a bunch of dirty looks from the parents around me because, well, frankly, all their kids were too busy screaming at the top of their lungs in a library. So, we got a free pass there. But, for the most part... You know, he gives some good inspiration, so I will usually write about them, my family life, and stuff that I do. But is that stuff that everybody wants to hear about? Uh, I don't know, so we'll see how far this goes. My number fourth reason, my fourth reason why I shouldn't vlog is the distractions. I've got three kids and a husband. Now, currently, two of the kids are in school, and my husband's at work. And one of them is sitting downstairs quietly, as of right now, watching Madagascar 3. Yeah, sometimes I love movies because, you know, it gives me a little peace and quiet so I can actually get done what I want to get done, my writing, my laundry, cleaning, stuff like that. But for the most part, it's, it's a distraction every single time I sit down. You know, it's, it's just as you get comfortable into something. Mommy, can I have a drink? Mommy! Can you turn on a movie that we just watched five million times? Mommy, 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 I'm a dinosaur.
dinosaur. Rawr! I love my kids. They, they give me good inspiration, but sometimes when you're in the middle of writing, the distractions can get a little irritating. The number fifth reason why I shouldn't vlog, my video skills are atrocious. Now, I dabbled a little bit in making graphics in Photoshop, and I've done a few videos in the past. I'm not really sure how good of quality they are, so we'll see how this turns out. But either way, my video editing skills are atrocious, which means I have to do this in one entire run. I can't stop it and be like, okay, I need to cut this here and cut this there. Yeah, no, I, I'm not sure how to do that. So until I make millions and I can hire somebody to do the videoing for me, I'm stuck doing it myself. The number sixth reason, or, oh, see, I can't even talk right. The sixth reason I shouldn't vlog is because I'm a writer and I speak with my fingers. For some reason, me and my laptop, we have this relationship. And when I connect with it, I can just go on and on and on and on and I can just type what I'm feeling. When it has to come through my mouth, it's like it's a separate pathway and usually it's garbled. It's just the reality. I've always been more effective at communicating when I'm doing it with my fingers on a laptop. So needless to say, you'll see me kind of flub up a little bit and you can see how I you know, insert random words that just don't really make any sense whatsoever. So bear with me. That's actually the way I am in real life. The seventh reason why I shouldn't vlog is because of my talking. Now I am trying really, really, really hard right now to control myself and I don't really know if I am or not, but I'm trying. Typically I talk really, really, really fast. So it is a conscientious effort on my part to talk slow enough so people can understand me. I know that sounds really weird, but my mouth is like a constant attachment to coffee so it's kind of and it just goes a little crazy so I have a tendency to talk really really fast and sometimes that's not really gonna be good for when you're doing a video blog because your words get jumbled and people go what and I can't hear you go what so I can't answer you if you didn't get it the first time my number eight reason why I shouldn't vlog is because of my potty mouth now, I'm going to have to blame this on the military. You see, right after high school, I joined the Army. Now, I did have a nice, cozy desk job. My husband thought that, you know, I basically had a civilian job in Army boots. I was a photojournalist. I took pictures. I, did vi I, I, I took pictures. I wrote stories. I did interviews. I worked for a newspaper. It was a great job. However, you still have the Army lifestyle surrounding you, which means there is a swear word in every other sentence. I've been out of the military for a while. It still comes back. I have gotten a potty mouth. I try to control it at times, but sometimes they just bleep out. I can't help it. Um, that is just who I am. I swear occasionally. If you get offended by swearing, I apologize now, but I do have a bit of a potty mouth. Now, the number nine reason of why I shouldn't vlog is because I'm a little OCD and kind of anal about things and I kind of demand perfection. Now video editing, as I already said, my video editing is atrocious. I don't know much about it. It's kind of a gray area for me. When you're writing, you can, you know, look over your words and you can take out something that didn't quite fit. When you're doing a video, that's really not an option. So it has to come across right the first time. And if it doesn't, well, then I, I just know it's going to irritate me. So I just know I have to push through it and I have to let that just go because striving for perfection when I'm just talking and then replaying it means that I will never get a video done. In fact, this is probably about the 10th video that I've done already just for this one thing. And it's my first vlog. If I do this like once a week or once every other week or once a month or if I just do it again, can you imagine? I'm, I'm going to pull my hair out. It's, I'm going to get extra grays because it just stresses me out because I know it just can't be absolutely 100% perfect. So now the 10th reason that I shouldn't vlog is for the children. You should always do it for the children. Okay, so really that's just a bad reason, but you know, I wanted to do 10 reasons and I couldn't come with the 10th reason why I shouldn't vlog. So I'm just trying to be funny and frankly sometimes I am and sometimes I'm not and sometimes I'm only, the only person that laughs at my joke 
But anyway, do you want your children coming across these videos? You never know what I'm going to say. A swear word might randomly pop out of my mouth. I might talk about something inappropriate. I don't even know what topics I'm going to talk about next. However, I shouldn't vlog for the children, or just because that's a good reason. Or maybe aliens will come down and abduct us. Either way, this is my list of reasons why I shouldn't do a vlog. I hope you enjoyed them. Um, actually, I thought that doing this vlog was actually kind of fun, so I might swing it around a couple other times and see see how, how it feels to, to do something like this. But as of right now, these are my 10 reasons why I shouldn't vlog. I hope you enjoyed them. Bye, everybody.